Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people, today I'm going to show you how in CSS2 and CSS level 3 uh, we, we're going to create a background image, that's number one, fixed uh, which means that whatever is above, over and above the image when it's going to scroll up and down, the background image is not going to move Okay, number two, it'll flush the entire width and the height of the browser window or the viewport okay and number three it's scalable as you resize the browser in fact let me straight away start off with a, uh, a browser preview in Google Chrome right I'm using the CSS2 method first the preview that you're about to show about to see is the uh, CSS2 method people right let me just save the document up once again and bring up the preview in Google Chrome let me just maximize the screen alright now you you can very clearly see that it's in, uh, flush the entire width and the height of the browser window and as I resize it you're gonna see it still flushes the entire width and the height of the browser window alright and as I scroll look at the word hello world out here see what happens it scrolls up but the background image is uh, does actually stand its ground stays put doesn't move all right this is the CSS2 method and then uh, you know I'm gonna show you the CSS3 method too which uses uh, lesser lines of code and uh, yep but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, you know the, the CSS3 preview is gonna uh, more look uh, be the same right so I'm not going to show you the CSS3 preview right now yet I'll, I'll do so a little later but the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to restart doing the whole thing all over again so I can actually explain it quite easily to you all right very cool let's do it from scratch then okay so let's put up a title out here not a good habit to miss the title so let's say fully flushed scalable fixed background image save it right let's remove whatever is there in the uh, opening and the closing style tags for convenience I'm going to use internal or embedded styles people and what let's remove whatever is inside the opening and the closing body tags all right so basically uh, we are at the very beginning now whatever little code we have is the bare uh, you know necessity okay now uh, between the opening and the closing uh, body tags I'm gonna get in an image I'm gonna do the CSS2 method first so image insert image choose the image and uh, alternate text can be anything right okay so the image has been pushed in the first thing that I'm gonna do is people I'm gonna go down out here I don't want the width and the height attributes at all let's get rid of them and they'll disappear from the code here as well cool uh, next up people what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go out here give it an ID and the ID can be anything let's make it cool right let's keep it nature right let's save it up again now this image I would want uh, to act as the background image after which people I would also want an h1 element going let's use the encoding h1 control plus comma it's a it's a code assist plugin people that allows you to code really fast if you don't have it don't worry you can just code it the expanded way okay so this is really cool isn't it or whatever right and so that I can scroll the page let's have a lot of BR tags going out here line breaks people control C and then just paste it control V many times right 
very very cool now I'm gonna uh, let's take up a preview right now just to see you know what have we done so far let's preview it up in Google Chrome okay the image comes first and uh, below the image we have the mm, h1 element and a lot of white space right cool now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that my mm, h1 element is actually colored white so I'm gonna use inline styles and color white cool it's actually disappeared merged with the background never mind oh, things will be all right very soon next thing that I'm gonna do is people I'm gonna go inside the opening and the closing style tag so I'm gonna style nature the ID nature that's been attached to the only image that we have that we're gonna use as a background image right oh okay the first thing that I would want my image nature to be is to have uh, the position property of fixed so position fixed I'm gonna cement it at one place All right. I would also want that it should be uh, nailed to the top left position so left 0 and top 0 right that was easy wasn't it just fixing it at the top left corner right next people uh, I would want it to flush the entire width and the height so width 100% and height 100% very very easy makes a lot of sense so that's a width 100% and a height likewise of 100% okay now let's do the Z index the Z index just to be on the safe side let's ensure that it's always the bottommost layer so I'm gonna keep it minus 999 anything and everything will be just over it not under it anyways e ever right so uh, minus 999 cool so let's take up a preview of how things look like right now let's take it up in Chrome first alright so let's try and scale it yep always at 100% very cool let's try and scroll it okay the background image is actually fixed very cool very nice cool exactly what I wanted uh, this one thing that I'm gonna add people and that does not have support in IE6 and which is min width min height now that's something entirely up to you whether you really won't want to add it or not um, let's let's do it uh, uh, at least let's do it now so min width first so min width of 1280 I'm actually maintaining the aspect ratio people so when you crunch it will not go below this value and min height 800 I'm actually uh, 1280 800px has been uh, done keeping in mind the aspect ratio of the image people you can have your own values going that's absolutely all right okay let's take up a preview now in Google Chrome after saving the changes to the document okay nine minutes into the tutorial now everything else remains just the same it's fully uh, expandable fully flushes the entire background and but when I actually scale it down you see it will not scale down beyond a certain value it stops scaling down now widthwise let's try the height yep it's not scaling down any further now right so this is the CSS2 method people right let's have a look at the CSS3 method too so let's remove everything that's inside the opening and the closing style tags let's get rid of it completely right let's also get rid of the image tag
Now this image that I'd used as an element inside the body tag I'm going to use as a background image now in CSS3. It just works a little differently now. Right? I'm going to retain the h1 element, uh, the text and the br tags so that I can uh, test it while I'm actually scrolling it. Let's now the uh, the other method, CSS3 method. Now CSS3 works in IE9 and most contemporary browsers people. It may lack support in IE7.8. Right. Now, uh, let's give it a try now. So, people, there are two ways I can actually do it. I can uh, either use uh, uh, you know the shorthand background property or I can just completely expand it and I, I'm going to expand it because it makes for easier uh, reading, easier understanding. So the uh, I'm going to have my first style going for the body tag, opening, closing body tags alright and then I'm going to say background image first. Which background image do I actually want to use? Let's browse for it and the same image that I talked about earlier. Right. Uh, what about the position? Mm, so, background, position. Let's look for position. Right? Top left. So, that's a top. And, beg your pardon, that's a top left. Right. Uh, now, background attachment. Do I really want to keep it uh, fixed at one place, cemented? Yes. So that's going to be fixed by the background attachment property and uh, giving it a value of fixed. I'm going to fix it at the top left position. All right. And uh, do I actually want the image to repeat? So background repeat and yep no repeat I wouldn't want it to repeat and last I need to use the background size property so background and let's look for size there we go and people this is the option that I'm gonna choose cover cover the entire width and the height right we don't need to use the percentages or the pixels out here and that's gonna suffice. That's all that we're gonna uh, use now. People, I could have actually uh, collapsed all this code and pushed it as one shorthand property called background, right? And then push the different values top left, fix and no repeat out there, including the URL. Or I could have separated it. Now, one of the reasons why I actually separated is to make for easier understanding and easier coding. Right. So, let's see whether this actually fixes everything for us, except the fact that it's CSS3 and will not be compatible with older versions of IE. Okay. In which case, you can obviously use a conditional comment and fix it. If you don't know what a conditional comment is, what an IE-only style sheet is, then uh, you can probably have a look at my tutorials on this subject. Okay, so uh, let's see if everything is just the way it was in CSS2. Right, it's fully flushing the uh, entire background, people. And uh, if I scroll it, you can see the background is actually cemented at one place. Right, so very, very cool. Uh, people, uh, just a word of caution it's actually advisable to use quite a big image. I've, I've used quite a big image out here. Right? That's one uh, thing to remember and do not use the width and the height attributes while you're actually working with a fixed background image that can be scaled up and down. Right? So people, I hope you found this information useful. Uh, I hope you'll sub, I hope you'll comment and I also hope uh, that you'll keep coming back for more and more tutorials from me. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.